I survived this long by staying out of trouble. Saving you may have changed all that. The world of rage is definitely not the place to want to take your parents on vacation. It is a harsh, dry, unforgiving wasteland where death awaits you behind every corner. You have a world that's post-apocalyptic, where everything has been destroyed and everything is in ruin. You wouldn't want to go without a couple rocket launchers, body armor, a week's worth of food. So the first character that you meet in Rage is named Dan Hagar. I hear there's something special about you art people. He is this fatherly character that is trying to keep a settlement safe. We knew we needed a great voice talent, and the only way to find that is to look for great actors. In the initial images I saw of Dan Hagar, he had glasses, the shorts, the fishing vest, and I go, that totally reminds me of Walter Subcheck from The Big Lebowski. And I go, Tim, we need to get John Goodman. Welcome to the future. <laughs> you can imagine if there was an actor from Hollywood that could survive an asteroid destroying the Earth, he would be on that list. Get to town. It'll be safer there. You can feel his fatherly ways. You can feel that he's got this tough interior. It really was a great combination. Sound really is half of your experience. The first half is being taken in with your eyes. The second half is being taken in with your ears. You should be able to look at something in the world hear the sound that's coming from that and think in your mind's ear, yes, this makes sense. This fits in the world. Gun sounds are one of the hardest things in the world to do only because you're constantly hearing them. The shotgun is a type of weapon that when you hit the fire button and point at someone, you really want to feel that kaboom. Get the sound mixed between the high-end elements to pique the interest and the low-end elements, the kick to the gut to make you feel like you're in a living, breathing, cinematic experience. Rage is stylized realism. Visually, that was the idea of the scale that was really important. And then it was also like an idea of futurism. So it is still a believable city. You know, there was definitely a lot of visual from brutalism that has that feel that kind of relates very strongly with the authority. So I wanted to go with something that's very solid and very aggressive looking. And also we're trying to basically make the parts of this universe one cohesive environment. There was a world before and there's a new world after that. And you have to think of like the layers between the two eras basically. When I started this technology, I had some image in my mind of what it could do, but when the artists get a hold of this and they start working their magic on it, they produce things that, when I look at some of the scenes in Rage, I'm just, wow, that looks better than I would have thought this game could look. The technology right now allows us to paint on any surfaces at a pixel level. As an artist, I like the possibility of expressing your vision in a much higher fidelity, there's no textual limitation. The big challenge is more about when do I stop? When is it good enough that it achieves the goal? So you have to kind of find that good balance. I want Pedro to feel like he lived through an experience that is bigger than just the game itself. Everyone who's seen the game so far has had the same reaction. It's like a visual shock. There's some really breathtaking imagery there, and it is better than I would have imagined it would be. 